This is Stephanie from statisticshowto.com. In this video, I'll show you what an odds ratio is. I'll also show you how to calculate it. When we talk about odds, we're talking about an event happening as a ratio of the event not happening. The odds ratio is a measure of association between a certain property and a second property. It's often used to figure out if a particular exposure, like eating processed meat, is a risk factor for a particular outcome, like getting food poisoning. Here's a two by two table for people getting ill from food poisoning, and we suspect that it's because they ate sausages from factory A. We have two rows, people that ate the sausages and people that didn't. And we have two columns, people that fell ill and people that did not. We can calculate the odds ratio with the formula A divided by C divided by B divided by D. I've labeled the cells in my table with A through D. And from there, it's a simple calculation. I get an odds ratio of 0.55. Very basically, an odds ratio of 1 means there's no effect. Greater than 1, it's a higher chance there was an effect. And below 1, we have lower odds. Now, part of the problem is trying to figure out what A, B, C, and D are. If you put the table in the wrong order, you're going to come up with the wrong answer. One solution is to use a calculator like this one. It's clearly labeled with A, B, C, and D. For example, A is the number in the exposed group that had a bad outcome. In our example, that would be people that ate sausages that got food poisoning. If you like acronyms, you can use this one. Adverse cases twice daily and medically speaking, twice daily is BD. So let's just try another example in this calculator to see what we get. Our odds ratio for this calculation is 1.4. I get the same result if I use that formula, A divided by C divided by B divided by D. And when I work that out by hand, I get the same result as the calculator. Odds ratios are very rarely used on their own. You'll normally want to calculate a confidence interval. The calculator reports the 95% confidence interval is pretty wide here, but notice that small p-value. In general, if the p-value is less than 0.05, it's a statistically significant result. That's an overview of the odds ratio. Check us out at statisticshowto.com. And I'll see you in the next video.